Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Get ready to take a trip down every lane. That table can only mean one thing. We're going to be playing the Atari 7800. having a food fight check this out that yeah, food fight on the Atari 7800 now this is a game that I never actually uh, played too much before never actually seen it heard of it I don't know if it exists on 2600 but I know I do not own it uh, this is the only copy that I do own as far as I can see I mean I do own a lot of games but I don't see another copy anywhere uh, the artwork is on the label it's actually pretty cool it looks like a 1930s or 40s cartoon and it looks quite awesome I mean I'm a big huge fan of that artwork that's actually pretty cool you have the food fight logo right there on top and you have the Atari 7800 logo right there food fight Atari 7800 pro system on the bottom and you have your standard 2600 cartridge casing and uh, that is pretty much it. And we're going to be playing this using the 2600 controller. As you can see here. I currently do not own an Atari 7800 controller yet. I own the system, but that's probably about it. So let's head over to the 7800. And let's put the cartridge in and let's have some fun. So you can see right there we have our Atari 7800 Pro system. Pop our cartridge in and let's head over to the CRT and let's have some fun with the food fight. So, here we are playing food fight. For the Atari 7800. It's one game I never actually played before. Well, we'll try it out. So it appears that we have a character running around a screen right here. And the animation looks pretty cool. That was pretty interesting. It looks like we picked up some sort of food. And we're throwing it at these characters here. Oh my god, that was definitely not the right direction. Oh no, what the hell happened? Looks like I had all the food thrown at me. So let me see if I can walk my big fat head self up here. Look at the head on that character. It's quite huge. Look, bananas. I like how when you throw the bananas, you can actually see them spin like a boomerang. Look at that. That's pretty comical. Look at that. That is hilarious. What is this? Oh my god, I got like all the food thrown on me again. I'm not exactly sure. I never played this before. And I am using the 2600 controller and it works fine. Whoa, what the hell was that? That was really interesting animation. It looks like his whole head got bigger and he ate like a whole bunch of um, like ice cream right there. That's like an ice cream cone. Looks like these characters are trying to throw stuff at me as well. This game's actually pretty cool. And there we go, I actually uh, ate the ice cream cone again.
Oh, you can throw diagonally too. I didn't realize that. Oh my god, he almost got me. Oh, no, no, oh. And all the food's thrown on top of me. That's actually pretty funny. Let's try expert. We'll see what happens. You have, to be, you have to be an expert at food fighting, so you have to get all your stuff quick. Oh, he killed me right away. And again, I never actually, I don't, I don't know if this is on the Atari 2600 or not. Probably is. But I never actually played it before. Now this game's actually pretty fun. It looks like the characters are moving a lot faster than before. I said I'm eating my ice cream, and I love the, uh, the animation when he eats the ice cream. His whole head get, becomes huge. Oh my god, what the hell is that? Like, everything on the screen gets thrown at, at me. You can see here. Let's have a, out of curiosity. Have you guys ever encountered an actual real food fight before? Like, have you guys ever seen one? Uh, down below, comment, let me know. Back when I was in middle school, there was a pretty huge food fight. And I got pretty much out of control. Like, I had nothing to do with it, but... Since two group of kids decided to food fight each other in the cafeteria, and that, that was a big huge mess, to say the least. Now, that was back in the 1990s. Probably like 98, 99, something like that. And let's play this again. This game is actually quite fun. So I'm assuming that these are pies right here. And it looks like a chef. Have to try to score as much as possible. Oh no, I threw the pie the wrong direction. Oh, he threw all, everything back at me. I don't quite understand that, but let's see if we can go up here, grab whatever this is. It looks like hamburgers or something. No! Okay, let's go over here. Alright, so I guess the ice cream kind of melts. I see, so the ice cream melts. You have to get over there and eat that ice cream before it melts. Alright, so my ice cream's melting. I have to get the ice cream quick. Now this guy's trying to stop me from eating my ice cream. What a bastard. Oh, I got killed. What the hell? I'm gonna say this game is actually pretty fun. So yeah, I have most fun playing Atari games. I love Nintendo and Sega, but Atari never fails me. I can pop an Atari game in and always have fun. Let's go over here. Oh, get over here. Oh, what the hell is that? I fell down a hole. What the hell? What? Let's try that again. So apparently you can fall down holes. Alright, I'm just gonna eat my ice cream before I can't. Yeah, take that. It's like a nice big huge uh, vanilla ice cream cone right there. You got a chocolate ice cream cone right there. I have to get over there before... Yeah! So I made it to, uh... It's level 3. What the hell are those things? Look at those big, huge, blocky looking characters. Oh my god. I'm gonna run over here to eat my strawberry ice cream. Oh, right. Oh, what the hell? And there's a bunch of characters on the screen at once. I still got my, uh, my strawberry ice cream. 
And now we got some other ice cream over there that I can't quite make out. It looks kind of yellowish. Piss flavored ice cream. Let's get my piss flavored ice cream. Let's go over there and get it. Maybe it's lemon. I don't know. Oh my god. I hit right in the head. On the Elgato, it looks green. See, the, the colors are way off. Like, on here it looks yellow, over there it looks green. Ah, oh, I got a game over. Oh. What's the, what's the beginner? This will be, like, more for probably kids to play here. Alright, so, let's see if we can throw all the food, get to my ice cream before it melts. I don't think I have this. I mean, to stretch my neck way over there, but I'm trying to see if I have it on the 2600. I don't think I do. A lot of the uh, 7800 games that came out, they were already available on 2600. But of course, this has way better graphics and the animation looks a lot cooler. It's actually a pretty cool game. So, oh yeah, look at this, bananas all over the place. And I fell down a damn hole, look at that. Alright, let's see if I can make it all the way over there without throwing any food. And get my ice cream. It's a challenge, let's see if we can do it. Oh no! I might be able to do it. Oh no, my ice cream melted. Oh, oh no. So that is a uh, food fight on the Atari 7800. And I must say, the game is actually pretty fun. So I'll try it again. Now, just in case you're wondering, I am playing this through an uh, coaxial. So this is not even the AV signal. This is a good old-fashioned RF modular. Coaxial, whatever the hell you want to call it. But it's plugged in through the VCR. And it's converted to AV, which is converted to HDMI. So there's like probably three or four different conversions. All right, let's go get my ice cream right here. Chocolate ice cream, yeah. Already got some strawberry ice cream action going on there. Let's see if we can make it to the end. Yeah, take that, you son of a bitch. I got my uh, yellow ice cream, whatever the hell that was. And what is that? Is that watermelons? Alright. Throw some watermelons. And it looks like we have more ice cream over here that looks like strawberry or something. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, they have like an an instant replay. That is actually, look at this. So once it gets to a certain level, you get instant replay. That is actually pretty cool. Alright, let's play this again and let's see if we can... The ice cream almost melted that time. Oh no, what the hell? Oh, I got purple colored ice cream. What the hell is that? And on the uh, Delgato, it's like they're very dark looking. So I'm not sure what kind of ice cream that is. On the TV, it looks purple. 
Maybe it's grape flavored ice cream. I never even heard of such a thing before. Maybe it's not ice cream, maybe it's sherbet. That looks like coffee flavored ice cream. I'm just making things up as I go. Now that right there is a light pinkish purple ice cream. And I'm not exactly sure what that is, but I'm going to eat it anyways. Got 61,000 points. Got some watermelon. That looks like it might have been like caramel or something like that. I'm not sure. And we got the uh, same light pink colored ice cream. Might be strawberry, who knows? Raspberry. Might be something else. Some sort of artificial flavored ice cream. Now that looks like chocolate. I think. Oh, what the hell was that? I got so far. I'm almost at a hundred thousand. I can at least make it to. Oh, you son of a bitch! You gotta be kidding me. I got a game over on a level 13. Well, that is Food Fight on the, uh, the Atari 7800 using a 2600 controller. Pretty fun game. And I don't think I have that game on the... Uh, I'm just gonna take a quick look. Yeah, I don't think I have this on the... Uh, On the 2600, as I'm looking around here, I don't see it. So I'm pretty sure that I don't have this game on the 2600. I don't even know if it even exists on the 2600. But I must say that the 7800 version of this game is quite fun. And if you want to play a really fun arcade game involving thrown food, this is the game for you.